its own plan, that is. It is a hot night out there. Many communities in Northern California saw some record breaking heat today. And as the temperatures soar, cities dealing with California's ongoing drought are urging people to conserve water. But Sacramento may not be completely practicing what it's preaching. We have team coverage on tonight's hot weather. We start with KCRA3's Mike Lurie, who discovered the city of Sacramento in an apparent violation of its own Spare the Water campaign, Mike. That's right, Lisa. I can tell you that the grass here at Barandas Park got a really, really good soaking today because the sprinklers were on for much of the day, even though the city of Sacramento has an edict to cut back dramatically on water usage. These water sprinklers were actively spraying gallons of water at high noon at Manuel Barandas Park, even though the city of Sacramento has issued a spare the water alert. The city is urging residents to restrict water usage between 10 in the morning until 7 at night. But as you can see, apparently not complying with its own water edict. The important issues for us are reliable and sustainable water resources. And that's all this on the same day that Mayor Kevin Johnson was at the Capitol, spearheading a coalition of business, labor, and farm interests seeking a multi billion dollar water bond for California. We would like to see, as part of the bond, um, additional water storage, both a above ground as well as uh, groundwater. We wanted to ask Mayor Johnson about Mr. conservation. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, before you go, I got a quick question for you. A previous KCRA 3 investigation found the city fell short of its own 20% conservation goal, reaching only 13% savings in the past year. How do you expect the voters to approve more funding when the city is not conserving to its own measures? <laughs> That was a loaded question. You got it all out. I think we've prided ourselves in Sacramento. We want to be a leader, ultimately, from start to finish, and that's our commitment. We want to be a part of the solution. Will the city Come be on, able I to meet its own I conservation goals? I gave you one. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Just want to know if the city can meet its own goals, though. And you're looking at uh, live pictures now, the grass here at uh, Barandas Park. We did ask the city of Sacramento to give us an answer as to why the sprinklers were on full blast here for much of the day. The answer, they said, a power surge, a power surge that shorted out the irrigation clock here, resulting in the sprinklers going on for a long period of time. And as a result, though, the city has fixed it. They say they've now ordered a replacement part. Reporting live in Natomas, mm -hmm. Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News.